All right, guys, let's dive in. Here's the topic for this week. Are the new export restrictions on GPUs and AI silicon enough, or should we just open up the floodgates? All right, Daniel, uh, the guy that, you know, loves the CCP here. Uh, Dan, you have to argue opening up the floodgates, baby. Let it all in. Look, if we had a competent leadership in Washington, I might suggest that there'd be some level of controls that should be put into place. But here's the bottom line is these devices, the deep seek story was all about, oh, we did three paper clips and one 15 year old AMD Opteron server and we built deep seek. No, that's not what happened. What they did was they had hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars worth of NVIDIA chips. And by the way, they weren't all the China NVIDIA chips. There were other NVIDIA chips in there. It's been said, it's been proven, it's been shown, but not proven enough that anyone's doing anything about it. Because again, we don't actually do anything. It's all a big negotiation. It's all a big threat. But what it actually does do is it slows down revenue. It slows down transparency. And if we just opened up, we would know exactly where everything was. And if the idea is all about know your customer, this is a better version of that because now we know where things go. It's completely open markets. And by the way, it also provides the incentive that everyone agrees upon to keep innovating faster. They use our technology, they become addicted to it, they become need they need it even more so than ever before. It slows down the advancement of Huawei, it slows down their potential need to build their own lithography. And so while we are maybe opening up and giving access, we in some ways are also controlling the innovation speed because we've slowed down and turned off the machine of China and their deep desires to eventually eradicate our market leadership by building better and more capable products on their own. But this really does come down to only two things. It comes down to one, competence, and two, speed. Competence, we just aren't gonna manage it. We aren't gonna pay attention. We're going to continue to allow these multi-shipped gray, gray market. Yes, people go, oh, they're giant racks, thousands of pounds. That isn't actually always true. The size of an individual GPU is much smaller and they know how to stick these things into racks and wire them together. So the, the fact that people say it has to be a one rack in a shipment is not the case. H100s, H200s, that is not how this works. They're getting into the country anyways. We're not managing it. it we aren't gonna stop it anytime soon, but at least NVIDIA could get the credit and the transparency could be there. And then, like I said, it's all about the speed. We don't wanna give our people the safety net of protectionism. We want to force them to understand that at any time, China could get next level development of their Ascend chips, cloud matrix, or even have a breakthrough for five and three, two and below two nanometer, 3D packaging, assembly. If they get there and they do this, they're off to the races. If we don't open up the gates and give them everything they want, we're missing out on revenue and we're missing the push that we need to make sure we lead the world's economy and we lead the world's technology development. So we can keep pretending that we're protecting ourselves, but all we're doing is hurting free markets and hurting innovation. Do better. Dan, that was really good, Basti, on your vacation too. So. Um, I am going to debate that we do need uh, some uh, restrictions. You know, restrictions are necessary. And then, you know, you also have to debate, you know, can can we actually, I felt like you did a great job debating, can we ever um, limit this, right? You talked about the size uh, of, of the unit of a, of a, of a GPU, uh, but I think we do need some restrictions. I think selling as many H20s or B whatever's, B20s, is is a fine thing send as many of those as you can uh to china uh, but when it comes to the uh, higher level uh ruben uh, types of chips I, I just think that we need to have some sort of restriction in there i'm going to call them intelligent uh, restrictions which are knowing your customer so cloud computing is about 15 years old and uh, we've gotten really smart at how to observe what is going on in the infrastructure. It's called observability. And we can see uh, what is being done uh, from a workload basis. And you can pretty much bet that if we have, if you see 50,000 GPUs being used at once, somebody is training a frontier model. 
And if that frontier model uh, can't be distinctly, um, you know, brought into identified as I'll call it the Uber Eats of China, which which I think is is okay, then I think it should be allowed to sail through. Uh, we've got DNS, which is the uh, lowest level of of tracking out there, uh, that should also show where are these are these bits going? Um, and then I think maybe a final layer, and my gosh, you saw this with center, centrifuges, which is um, we should be able to, to, to truly track, even if somebody's doing some DNS spoofing on, on where this is going. And here's a common sense question I have for, for everybody out there. Do we really think that the Chinese military is going to be creating models using NVIDIA GPUs, leading edge GPUs out of Saudi Arabia or out of the United States. That is an absolute fantasy, right? The PLA is going to be doing all of its training and is doing all of its training and has been doing all of its training uh, with non NVIDIA chips. And yeah, I get it. One person's weather simulation is another person's <clears throat> nuclear simulation. Um, but I think we're beyond that. And by the way, none of this is new. When I was at AMD, I was restricted from selling certain level flops, right? We've gone from flops to tops, trademark Daniel Newman. Um, and so none of this is new. We've had restrictions, my gosh, since what 2002 2003 i remember having to restrict uh systems going to iran uh as well when i was at, at amd so with intelligent restrictions using modern technology i believe the risk is very small one thing though i want to know is i want to see public declarations of kyc process from companies like g42 and i want companies like g42 to have some skin in the game if uh, we find that some of those tops have gone to areas that um, they shouldn't be and there should be penalties i have full confidence in the aws's and the google's uh, in a cloud, an AW, you know, and even Oracle cloud in an environment like this, but I'm unfamiliar with G42. Uh, they're an unknown entity uh, in, in in my world, and I'd like to see a little bit uh, more disclosure and openness uh, from them. Hey, maybe uh, have somebody from G42 on the pod to uh, to talk about this. We could do that. We could do that. Maybe someday. <laughs>